Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Banjo Tooie. My name is Brian, your host and commentator, and here we are. Uh, the game total screen, about to enter Cauldron Keep. Here is everything, and just for funsies, let's go ahead and run through everything. Make sure we got everything, even though we know we already did. Look at all that. Beautiful. Well done. Well done. Oh, it feels great. And Cloud Cuckoo Land. And that's it. Let's actually, let's... Let's look at the Jinjo page, too, while we're at it. Ooh, got them all. Knocking them out. And the object, objects and items, just to see what we have left over. Three burgers, four fries, and two doubloons. So, let's head into Cauldron Keep. Yeah, we probably have a good 40 minutes or so left. Uh, here we are. The entrance is right ahead of us, but in order to unlock it, we need to split up between these two. So, let's go ahead and turn into Banjo. We'll run all the way around the... The outer edge here. Hopefully we won't fall off. Won't, ma won't make a fool of myself. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do the Gruntilda boss fight tonight. I think I'll record that tomorrow. But this will be good because I'll have a solid five episodes recorded. And that can get me through the week. You know. Oh, wait. What am I doing? I forgot. I have motherfucking Banjo. That's a Banjo and Kazooie switch right here, right? Yeah, it is. Get out of here, Minjo. I already knew you were Minjo. Oh, my God. There's the, the door the, the Hag 1 goes in and out of. Well, I thought I had to, like, land on something. Or I thought I had to go all the way around. I don't know. In order to, like, land on something to let me cross. And then, Kazooie, you can kind of... I guess you just glide over there, actually. Make it easier, probably. Drop down. That's going to open up the drawbridge. Ooh, lasers are blocking our path. That's why you need to meet up between the two of them and hit that switch in the back. So let's do that. Fuck you. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, there we go. Lasers are down. Now we can enter Cauldron Keep. Nice. Let's explore this side just for fun. The fun of it. Or <laughs> just for fun. Yeah, sounds good. Alright, let's enter. I like to fully flesh out a world, you know. The gatehouse. Hey, Kazooie. There doesn't appear to be anyone in here. Oh, yes, there is. The music's changed. Every time that happens, we always end up in a fight. That's true. Who could it be? Oh, no. Oh, Klungo must defend Mistress Garanti Castle. Klungo, career questioning minion. He's questioning his career. Don't you ever learn? Klungo, clever. Learn lots. Has learned a new potion. Is it as useless as the others? Yes. Uh, Klungo means no. Must win this time or mistress find me monster. I don't know. Whatever. So we got blue, which, what does that do? Make him grow? Oh, no. It makes him multiply. Yeah. Oh, God. So, yeah, these... Uh, the potions get a lot more accurate now, that's for sure. Just, oh my god. You wanna kinda, ow, damn. Doesn't matter though, cause we have honey back, so we can just heal right, right after we get hit. Alright, so it's gonna be this one. I think the others turned a little darker shade. Uh, maybe not, I don't know. It's this guy right here, though. Ah, get back here. Ah! <laughs> Got him. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so that's our third battle with Klungo and our final one. Klungo noticed something happening after fights with Bear and Bird. And that is... Klungo gets less and less handsome. Now Mrs. Klungo won't want me anymore. Mrs. Klungo. Klungo had enough. Future prospects, not good with Mistress Grunty. <laughs> no chance of promotion. No days off. No pay. Klungo go find easy desk job. Maybe make stupid games. <laughs> Video games. All right, we don't even need those. Let's head through here. All right, let's not head through there. 
Oh, maybe you do head through there. Maybe just whatever. I meant to go through the other door, but this is fine. Welcome to the game show, everyone. This is the Tower of Tragedy. Not quite as good as Furnace of Fun. Grunty's Furnace Fun. Thank you, thank you. I'm Grunty, your host, and may I welcome you to my Tower of Tragedy quiz. Let me run through the rules for you all. There are three rounds of general knowledge questions. And the person with the lowest score at the end of each round will be eliminated. A.K.A. killed. Correct answer score two points, with one point being awarded if it was a second guess uh, following the incorrect answer from another contestant. Get one wrong, and I'll take two points off you. Press X to buzz in, and then A to answer if you can. Now let's meet tonight's victims. Uh, I mean contestants, shall we? You can play this in the multiplayer mode, too. Introducing on the left, it's my gorgeous, slim... Sister Mingella. On the right, we have my lovely, er, shapely sister, Blabelda. And in the middle, just some loser bear called Banjo. Let's start with round one. Okay. Let's look at the screen. Oh, wow. Didn't even answer the question yet, or ask the question. I'll accept that. Yeah, you gotta look out for that. Sometimes I'll buzz in early. How many tickets are required? Uh, ooh, easy. Fair enough. What tool attacks Banjo and Glitter Gulch Mine? Shovel. <laughs> I'll accept that. What is main danger in Grunty Industries quality control? Uh. Oh, wow. Wrong one. You plank anyone else? Toxic gas. Damn it. Damn you, Blah Belda. She's on it. Well, it was 50 50. <laughs> what mine related feature is not found in Glare Gulch Mine? Uh. Drill, actually, yeah. I'll accept that. What does Blubber rent out of his Wave Racer shop in. Oh, God. Wave Racers. That's an easy one. You know it all. Take a look at this screen. How many crates were open? None of them. I'll accept that. Yeah, answers will always be different, too. How heavy is the weight above your stupid head? One ton. <laughs> Not bad. What is the color of Boggy the Polar Bear's uh, bedspread? I think it's... Yeah, orange and yellow sounded about right. Lucky guess. So that's like classic Banjo-Kazooie colors. Damn it! Yeah, Gray's dead. Not bad. Here's a scene from the game. I'm just gonna guess. Mantum, Madam Grunty. Yeah, I got that before them. I'm gonna crush him anyway, so this is easy. Let's see. Oh, what? I didn't even look at the first part. Pumper Master. <laughs> I thought it said Pump Master. I just went for it. Pump Maestro 2. Pick it. Yeah, <laughs> you idiot. Even I knew that. Which of these isn't an area in Grunty Industries? Generator plant. Take a look at this screen. Chubby the Train in Pterodactyland. Hmm, okay. Here's a scene from the game. Conga? What? Oh, it's probably asking... Oh. Damn it. That's interesting, actually. Okay. So that's the end of round, run, round one. It seems that my sister Mingella has set a few standard of a new standard of dumbness. With a hopeless score of two, time to say goodbye, Mingy. It's actually interesting. This is the first time I've played this game, and Blah Belda has made it to the second round. Usually Mingella does, and I think she's usually supposed to. Time to move on to round two. Uh, there's like a 90% chance that she will, and a 10% chance that Blah Belda would. So that's interesting. Shit. Damn it. Numbskull, anyone else? 
How many letters? Yeah. Oh, 26. No, no, actually 22. I think it's 22. Oh, it has all the letters? Okay. I didn't know if it had all the letters. That was a dumb one. I don't know why. I, that was easy. <laughs> Alright, only down by one. What color are the feathers on the darts fired in Mayhem Temple statue? Whatever. Red. Who's my rather large sister? Wabelda. <laughs> I beat her to that question. That's amazing. Wabelda should have known that. Unless she doesn't find herself large. Oh, what? Are those not diamonds? I thought I was asking for the shape of the wigwam stuff. Triangles, really. Unless they asked what's the shape of the whole wigwam. I thought it meant the design. I don't know. Alright. I think it's asking... Oh, wow. Oh, I was asking about all of them. I thought it was going to ask about those lights in the background. Because it was either... I counted it. I was like, it's either four stars and two moons. Or whatever. Alright, I got to play it cool now. I didn't know I was going to ask for like all the shapes. Which spell... Oh, you son of a bitch. Three points. Wow. What brand of canned carrots is found in... Alright, I'm down by five now. About to be down by six. I gotta make a comeback. Yes. Didn't want to answer. Uh, yeah, big afoot. Alright. I gotta get two right to pass her. I don't know what the question's gonna be. Five. Nice. All right. Let's get this last one. Oh, shit. I don't know the characters in that game. You better not. Yes. Okay. I got to get these last two. Yes. All right. Got to get the last one. Oh god. Oh, why is it a screen question? I don't know, I gotta... Pot of gold! Yes! Oh my god, I can't believe I turned that around. Wow! Wow! I turned that around. Oh wait. <sighs> oh my god. I can't believe that question was still asked. I could have lost. Wow, that was intense. <clears throat> yeah, so she beat me. Here's your consolation prize, Blobby. Alright, now I can take my time. Because I don't have someone else bringing in. Yeah, I can't believe Blobby made it to the second round. She's never done that for me. It's always been Mangella. Alright, so I'm changing the rules for the final round to make it harder. I won't show you the answers unless you buzz in. If you don't know the the answer, I'll let you press left or right trigger to pass and move on to the next question. Set a nice little score for you to beat within the given time limit. I wish you pl plenty of bad luck. Let's play! Hey, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Let's play. So, Banjo. <coughs> Skip. How does Banjo get inside the kickball stadium? Disguised as a stony. 15 points is really easy to beat. Where is the Jiggy located in Witchy World Star Spinner? At the top? <laughs> Davy Jones. I think I mentioned that actually when we were in Jolly Rogers Lagoon, the, the locker that you enter. Pano has the prize. Yeah, I think I mentioned that, though. For Jolly Rogers Lagoon, the lock you enter to fight the boss is... Davy Jones. Self-important anglerfish. I remember that one. The subtitle for him. How many letters are there in the name Banjo-Tooie? Ten. More than nine. There we go. Okay, that was like a trick question. Wow. 
What is the unusual about Momo Skull and Jolly Roger's Lagoon? You can blow a hole in it. It had a secret passage. There you go. How many different ways in the factory and Grunty Industries are there? I don't know. That was a complete guess. I had no idea. All right, so I have enough points now. What is the color of the revolving lights in floor three? I should have skipped that one. All right, so I'm going to get the next one, and then I'm just going to skip questions unless I absolutely know the answer. Oh, I know these. Baza. I don't know what that's from, but I remember it. What was the name of the world three? Witchy world. There we go. Now I have some room for error. What is unusual about Mumbo Skull and Grunty Industries? It's made of metal? Yeah. Fair enough. I knew that without even needing to look at the answers. What spell does Mumbo perform in Witchy World? <laughs> um, Life Force. Oh, power. It was power. Damn it. Power. What was I doing? What shape are the floor tiles in Jiggy Wiggy's temple? Jigsaw pieces? Easy one. Which character first seen on an earlier world made a cloud co Uh, what's her name? Mary. Yeah. Canary Mary. What color are banjo shorts? Yellow. It's hard to see them, too. You can kind of see them, though. What color are the normal blue eggs? <laughs> what hasn't Mumbo Jumbo got in his skull? A hi-fi? I don't know. what A hi-fi... Radio? Television? What's a hi-fi? I don't remember. Too big. 30 points, baby. Doubled that shit. Look at that. That's the end of the final round. What a useless score that. Huh? What's wrong with the scoring system? It must be broken. You can't have gotten that many points. No, 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 no. I declare the win invalid due to faulty equipment. Oh, dear. So what happens now? Hmm, I don't know. Any ideas? You could escape in a cowardly fashion like in Banjo-Kazooie before we kick your bony butt. Yes, I could. Thanks, Birdbrain. Fortunately, I built a rocket into my booth for this very reason. I'll be waiting for you at the top like last time. But this time, you'll be the ones taking the fall. Ooh. Talking shit. Shots fired. We'll see about that. The door to the gun chamber opens up. All right, come on, Kazooie. Let's go and see where that door that uh, just opened leads to. You reckon that's the end of the game? I doubt it. We've not had the credits yet. That's true. Okay, let's go. Just as the weight falls. So let's enter the gun chamber. And here we go. You can actually skip the credits, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and play them. Just for the sake of the, the company Rareware, you know, people can get the recognition, you guys can see. I don't know, you guys get to experience the game. Banjo 2 it was brought to you by... By... The original Banjo 2 -E team. Uh, oh, it's going to show all of them now. Okay, yeah, so I'm just going to let these play and I'll see you at the end of this uh, credit scene.
Okay, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed those credits. Here we are back in the gun control room. Well, don't just stand there. There's still time to save my brother in jingling by, by reversing the gun settings. I wish those would talk faster or the words would scroll faster, but there's no instructions. No problem. I'll just press A, 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 a few buttons, and see what happens. Sounds good. No! There, that should do it. You crazy feathered punk. Anything might happen now. See, I don't know how they're able to shoot back uh, Jingling and Bottles, considering they only took Jingling's life force. Um, I don't know. Small plot hole, but whatever. Unless that me, unless you don't need as much life force to bring them back for some weird reason, due to some explanation. I'm not entirely sure, but look, it's working. I believe you owe me an apology, dumb jars. Not a chance. Thanks, guys. Life's not much fun as a zombie. Bottles next, then Kazooie. He's been lifeless for quite a while. So I think you'd better turn it up uh, to full power. Especially if you turn it up to full power. Not until Soldier Boy apologizes. Hmm. Sorry, Kazooie. Thank you. Blow and suck. There's uh, jam jar, or not jam jars, bottles. Getting brought back to life. I'm like convulsing on the floor. Oh, look at his ghost go. He's getting back in. Woo! All right. Oh, no. Look at the time. I'm really late for dinner. Mrs. B will kill me. You better get out of here, then, Bottles. Yeah, he's heading home. Okay, so that takes care of the dead body in front of the house. I don't care how burnt it is. You're still eating it. What is that that he's eating? It's not my fault. The witch killed me, and I, I've just come back to life. Looks like the fish. I don't know what the other burnt stuff is. Yes, I'm sure you have, dear. She's about to put the whooping on him if he doesn't eat. There's King Jingling and Klungo. Goodness, who might you two be? How does she not know who King Jingling is? Yo, I'm King Jingling, and this fine fellow is Klungo. <laughs> Baron Bird freed Klungo from evil clutchness of uh, Mistress. They saved me from an eternity as one of those undead. So we come round to celebrate. Bob's kids running around. Sounds good to me. Oh, lovely! I'll be ma I'll make us some nice scones. Sounds good, Mrs. B. But where's Banjo? He's the real hero. Yeah, not Kazooie, just Banjo. Mistress escaped. So brave bear and bird going after her. They'll join us later. But now let's party. What do you just take out? Oh. Party thing? Party favor? This must be the end now. We've had the credits and everyone's all right again. What about Grunty? Oh, I think we ought to just take a quick look at the uh, top of the tower. Yeah, because he was probably right. But there's no way up there. Nice try, Banjo. But I reckon that opening below uh, the gun over there probably leads up. Oh, I was hoping you hadn't seen that. All right. So yeah, this is the gun chamber. It's cool. Cool little end area. You know, I think this is the shower room or whatever for uh, Grunty when they get full of life force. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that's just the the whatever. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's let's explore this place really quick. 
Seeing as how we spent all this time getting over here. I don't think you can go out here. Can you? Oh yeah, you totally can. Get a nice view of the the area. Now there's really anything to view out here. Alright, let's head back in. We still got one more thing to do in the gun chamber. Well, hello, Dingpot. Why, hello, Mr. Banjo. I'm Dingpot. Remember me? No, not really. I helped you at the end of Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, yeah, it's old Stinkpot. Sniff, you're so cruel. But hey, why not jump inside for a ding dingy bonus? Must we have only just got my feathers clean from last time. So, yeah, if we hop in him, he'll replenish all of our eggs and feathers and goodies and stuff. So we definitely want to do that. Woo, baby. All right, so that's all that. Um, actually, we might have to go out the, the gun. We, we might have to go out here. Okay, well, now that we've done that, yeah, let's let's head out here. I think this leads to the grunty boss fight. Phones are ringing. It totally does. Oh, yeah. But I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here first uh, before we enter the grunty boss fight. We'll save that for next episode, and then we'll finish up all the bonus extra shit afterwards. So, yeah, here we are, guys. The final boss fight of this game. Let's interact with this. I've already opened this door for you. Sorry, Jiggy Wiggy. Anyway, yeah, so I'm going to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Brian. Wait, actually, you know what? Oh, there's nothing in there. 18 minutes, though. So, yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Brian, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.